Good morning guys and girls and welcome back to another video and today is optimized. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Right, so uh, optimized this week we are covering a split farm between herbing and mining. So if you don't have a, m a miner and a herber in one character then this farm is kind of a little bit irrelevant for you guys. But you can still do do this farm as like just one as mining or one as herbing. But it is most predominantly better as optimized with mining and herbing. And that is the Whiptail slash Elementium farm. I've put a map on the actual top screen. And wherever there's red, that's where you'll be predominantly doing your mining. And then on the next part is pretty much where you'll be doing your herbing, which is in green. Um, pretty much, all, all together, this is a great farm as you manage to pick up a massive amount of Whiptail and Elementium along with Pyrium every now and again. And this is predominantly be better because usually when you're doing these farms you have to go in a line and then repeat yourself and pretty much if we do it as one concession of a circle, well, a loop, we'll say a loop instead of a circle because it's more like a, a loop than anything, or kind of a pizza slice, but that's not the point. Uh, it's actually to get rid of the downtime of you farming up nodes and using that mining part to pick up extra elementium and, and pyrium will, will actually give you more herbs and mi minerals in the long run and provide you with more gold with this farm. Now all in all this farm is actually relatively great as Whiptail sells for a lot as it's used for the Vial of the Sands and Elementium and Pyrium go hand in hand as you can pretty much flip them on, and on the auction house by turning them into bars. Predominantly it's the Pyrium but Elementium I would sell raw as ore as that sells a lot faster than actually producing the bars or you can use your alchemist's one day cooldown to produce a Pyrium bar, but I find that it's not rather worth it doing that way, as it's more likely to make more gold if you just did living steel. But that being the case, guys, you're looking at around about 20k gold, give or take, depending on your realm. So that being the case, guys, that is the quick, easy Whiptail slash Elementium farm for Optimize this week. I hope that you guys find this farm quite useful and to be honest I find it absolutely helpful when I'm trying to farm up my Vial of the Sands as it picks up most of the materials that I need for my Vial of Sands and that being the case that is the video for this week. Now I hope you like this video guys and if you want to see more like this please feel free to give this video a like and as always have an awesome day guys. Yeah. 